my friends, welcome to Once Upon a Pipe. I am at the wonderful McConnell Springs in really downtown Lexington. Very, very neat place, kind of set right uh, in the middle of downtown almost. And quite frankly, uh, when you get here, you feel like you are in a such a remote place but the truth of the matter is you're not you can hear cars and things nearby and um, nonetheless it is a wonderful little place to get away for a little hike or something like that um, while I'm here I am going to uh, light a bowl of this wonderful mixture that I have here. It is uh, one part of uh, Kentucky, one part John Special, and one part The Graduate. It's my own mixture that I just put together from Schwab's just uh, just a few minutes ago, right before coming here. It's only about 35, 36 degrees right now, so just a little bit on the chilly side for me. I'm going to come around here before I get uh, far across this bridge. I'm going to light this mixture and see whether or not it's actually any good. I have to say I did a pretty good job with that mixture. Don't know about you, but I don't like to be cold. This past week, I heard the story of a 93-year-old man that had gone into the hospital. The doctors, the medical staff told him, Sir, We're going to have to place you on a ventilator. And uh, the old man, he really didn't want to go that route. They explained to him that it was necessary because um, he needed the oxygen and needed to help breathing. He asked them how much it was going to cost. I can't remember the exact number, but they told him it was going to be thousands of 
dollars, thousands. Upon hearing that, he began to cry. And I mean, just weep. And uh, nurse, the nurse asked him, Sir, what's wrong? Won't your insurance cover it? And the old man, still weeping, paused for a moment and with tears streaming down his cheeks, he looked at the nurse looked at the doctor and he explained to them I'm a very wealthy man I've got plenty of insurance and even if I didn't I could afford any amount of oxygen for weeks that you could give me. And then nurse, puzzled, replied, Sir, then why, why are you so sad? Why are you weeping? Again, with the tears continuing to stream, down his face he quietly explained you know for 93 years I've been breathing the air around me that God has provided and it has sustained me my whole entire life and I've never had to pay one cent. He's given it to me freely. And I'm crying today because I never told him thank you. And I never realized how precious it is until I came to this hospital and had to pay thousands of dollars for your air. So my friends, We take so much for granted. We really do. Moments like this that uh, that were given freely. The nature around us, this beautiful sight behind me. And, and it has its own beauty in each season. Right now, this is the season of winter. No leaves on the trees. The water running slowly. But it's its own beauty in its season. Spring will bring forth another beauty of its kind. And God gives this to us all to enjoy freely. And yet, He doesn't require that we pay for it. But you know, it's pretty good to tell Him thank you every once in a while, isn't it?
doesn't hurt while we're able to or before it's too late and we don't have the capacity to do so to just say thank you thank you for allowing me to joy to enjoy the nature and the things around me that you've given me That's what I'm going to do here today. I'm going to say thank you, Lord. Thank you.